coming up on this episode. Welcome back folks to a brand new video. You're bored of Poznan. You've been there for a while and you want to step away and see what else is out there. Something like one of the oldest cities in Poland. I've never been there before. I don't know what to expect, but there's only one way to find out. in Gnezno. What can I say about this city that hasn't already been said about coffee? It is hot! Look right here, this is straight outside opposite the station. I mean look at that. That's like saying welcome to Gnezno. Here is where I stand. As you can see here, dated 1295. It's special right there. All right, Avanti. We've got a 14 minute hike to the center of the town. And yes, anything more than 10 minutes, it's a bloody hike. We made it folks, we are at the centre of town and the light is not doing me any favours, now it's doing me a lot of favours. Okay, as I said, let's just get a brew first and then we can start off this vlog. Look how cool this city is, you can't even get a brew because there are too many things to see and we've got another monument here, a king who's just like saying look, go and get my food because I'm about to head into battle. How cool is that? And right next to this monument here, you've got some information, some historical information, which is really good, as when you are doing your tours or walking around, you can kind of capture what really happened here and get a real feel of the city. I have to mention to you though, I know there's a rooftop place here and I will find it. But first, look how cool this restaurant is here. That's gonna be for lunch. But now we just need a brew. Once I drink this, then we can get back to regular programming. This cappuccino was um, cost nine zloty. So it is automatically cheaper than where I was in Poznan because you usually pay mm, between 12 to 14, depending on how fancy the place is. So I'm right in the center here, where you can see the little water show over there and it's shaped in kind of like a big uh, circle. And you can imagine, the good thing is it's nine zlotties right in the center of this city, town, however you want to call it. So that's really good so far. So let's enjoy this brew and I'll see you soon. 
Folks, if you want to know where this restaurant is, here's a massive clue. It's right next to this. This. And it's right there. Now we're going to move on to the 11th century cathedral, the coronation site of the first five Polish kings. And that's why you see the statues around. Now I may not be the best historian, but I do a lot of reading and it's very interesting. And sometimes when you go to modern places, there's nothing really about them, but a historic city like this, there's plenty to know about. Rated as one of the oldest towns in Poland, Nezno maintains a unique place on the country's map. The single most unmissable thing to see is the 14th century Gothic cathedral, with its priceless doors, memorabilia, relics, and the tomb of St. Aldobert which draws Catholics from all over Europe. It is right here where the cathedral witnessed the coronation of the first five Polish kings. Here we are folks. And you can go inside there through that door. straight down that way but first look at this look at this let's get a better view and this one here right outside the cathedral is Boleslav Chrobre Obviously, that's not how you pronounce it, but don't worry about it. 1025, 1925. I mean, he's just standing right outside the cathedral. It looks immense. Now, as I said, let's go up these steps. I know there's a, a nice view somewhere down. Sorry for the wind, because I think it's picking up. I'm fuming right now because I forgot my gimbal. I would have made some sick angles for this. But, just want to quickly show you just to get your bearings. Right, I was just round this corner here to see a view up like that. Now I'm on this side, okay? And you have this on this side. Which, ladies and gentlemen, is the museum of the archdiocese. As you can see here, I think this is where you can get your tickets, etc., your tour guides, the one with the headphones, all those kind of things. You know, when you got those headphones on, it goes high. Welcome to Ganeshno. On this tour, we will be showing you all the things that we are reading from a book because we don't know anything about where you're going. There's a little garden here. It's 
to be honest. Right, hold on. Is this where you get the tickets? I'm just trying to help you lot out because I haven't got a clue. I think it is. Let's have a little. Ah, Jin Dobri. Is this where tourists can buy the tickets? Mm -hmm. Perfect. There you hear you can hear right now, this is where you buy the tickets when you come here. And it's worth it. Jinku up. So remember this garden here, that's where you buy the tickets. Now, we're going to go to see another part of Ganeshno. I mean, that's a top view though, you've got to admit that. I've got some new shades that are being developed at the moment. Someone asked me about my shades. Yes, I did develop these, but believe me, ones that are coming are going to be unreal. No, we are not going to play with the kiddies. We're going to do something a little bit different. Because after all the sightseeing and if you do buy the tickets to go on a tour where you've got the headphones, then you need to go somewhere to relax and we are going to do that. The only thing I haven't done, which I will explain in a minute, is prepare for this. What I mean by that is, I don't have any refreshments and there's a Zabka right around the corner. <laughs> ah! That was a schoolboy error, folks. All you black people out there. No one was staring at me or anything like that. And even if they were, as I said to you many times in the video, maybe they just like the chino trousers that I'm wearing. Or the trainers. Because they're shiny white. Don't think negatively. Even if, let's say, they think negatively. Who cares? They don't even know you! <laughs> Trying to get a closer area of where we're going now but really and truly it's just a lake. Alright folks, this is a new rule. If you come to this lake, you at least have to do three pull-ups. At least three! I don't want to see anything less than that because that would be a disgrace. And if that's the case, you need to hit the gym. Let's do it.
folks, some dude came up to me and he told me that there is this app where you can, it's like a forced route to meet all the rabbits, all the kings, um, all the monuments around the city. So you get to kind of sightsee following this route. Um, and then he just rode off on a bike without even telling me the name of the app. So um, I'll try and find out before I edit this video. And if I don't, then that can be something that you do. All right. Let's go and see what else this town has to offer. All right, this is a question to all the Polish natives. And I want your opinion, right? Because I don't understand this. Okay. As you can see, I just want to cross here because I'm going that way, right? I have to walk all the way here to go across the zebra crossing and then walk like that. I just want to go across. Please ex explain to me, A, would you cross right now? This is for the Polish natives. Would you cross or would you walk on the zebra crossing and go the long way around? I just want to know. The reason why I ask is because I try to take shortcuts for everything in life, which translates to me being extremely productive and efficient. I always try to make sure I have a plan for everything. And I will explain that in previous videos. To me, doing this is a long way around. It don't make no sense. I'm not happy, that cost me at least 15 seconds. Just so you know, you can go to the very top. It is possible to go to the very top and you will need a ticket for that. Folks, we need to get there before the gale force winds happen. Folks, these stairs are narrow. Just be warned. Gonna take you through each floor. Okay, let's keep going. The worst thing is the battery's running out. Folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are not fit, if you've got dodgy legs, dodgy knees, don't do this. I did legs yesterday, and it's like doing walking lunges with dumbbells, but we've still got more to go. Shit. We made it. This is the view that you can get in Gnezno. It's only six zlotys. It's cheaper than a damn coffee. Come up here. Make sure you understand that it is quite high up the steps. Don't do a leg workout before you come here. And for anyone senior, 
just be very careful the stairs are very steep all right friends let's get out of here let's get some food all right as i mentioned let's get some food and then head back to poznan So there you have it folks, that was one day in, or an afternoon in Mezhno, very quick to get here, we've seen a few things, we obviously need another day here, because you can't see everything in one day, we came, we saw and we conquered, as always be good, be kind, and be careful, peace! Avanti!